Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have swatches for you from the Perfectly Seasoned collection from KB Shimmer for Holiday 2024. Everything is going to go on sale um, on November 22nd, so in the description box. I will link the KB Shimmer site, I will link their Instagram page, and then I will link my Instagram page. I do have um, more than just nail polish products to show you, um, but instead of doing like the same style that I do with like my polish pickup videos. I just wanted to talk about them. So I will actually do that at the end of the video. I have two sugar scrubs and two cuticle oils. But before that, um, we have 12 polishes in this collection. So let's go ahead and take a look at those first. So first we have Berry and Bright and this one is a bright Christmassy red and it does have this very strong pinky shimmer to it. This is almost like a jelly, um, but it is a very pigmented jelly, nice and opaque on this first coat, and it does build a full coverage in it too. But when I say it's like a jelly, it gives more of that like squishy-ish appearance, and it does dry it nice and glossy. Again, I got full coverage in two coats. You'll want some top coat for longevity purposes. Nothing dries textured and removal's easy. So there are two coats of Berry and Bright. Up next we have Bundled Up and this one is a purple base but then it's got this like soft light blue to a darker blue shifty shimmer. Very beautiful. I had no brush strokes throughout this shimmer when it was wet therefore when it was dry it was totally smooth. Again I got full coverage in two coats of very nice easy formula to work with and this one also dries glossy all on its own. You can see the shift more in my photos than in the video obviously but there are two coats. Up next we have Crushing It and this one is a green magnetic. So whenever you don't use the magnet, it's this very beautiful shimmery Christmas green polish. But when you hit it with the magnet, wherever that magnet pulls, it's going to turn almost a black and then you'll have this strong green magnetic effect. However, the magnet that I used is like a reverse. So instead of pulling all the pigment, it pushed all the pigment. And I actually think it gave a really interesting look but there are two coats of Crushing It. Up next we have Flocking Fabulous, and this is a white crelly, and it's got blue, green, pink, and red glitter, and this is an interesting take on a Christmas crelly, in my opinion, because uh, KB Shimmer does Christmas crellies almost every year, and they're usually like greens and golds and reds, um, but this is a very interesting take, and I really dig it formula is smooth. I was happy with the coverage in two coats, but I could definitely see needing three. This is glitter, so you want some top coat and removal will require scrubbing. Next up, we have Get Your Knit Together, and this one is a purple jelly base, and then it's loaded with these black flakes, iridescent flakes, and blue flakes. I love these kind of polishes. You've heard it from me a billion times if you watched any of my videos, and this one is no exception. Even though purple is not my favorite color in the world to wear, I still think this one is stunning. Formula is good. I did do three coats for full coverage on this one. Um, I just wanted that base color a little bit more opaque, more opaque so those flakes could stand out even more. This is going to dry with some texture, so you'll want some top coat to finish this off, but removal is easy. So there are three coats of Get Your Knit Together. Up next we have How Noble and this one is the same effect as Get Your Knit Together but it's in like a turquoisey base and then it's got black and green shimmer or green flakes as well as iridescent flakes. This one is a little bit more evenly opaque on this first coat so I was happy with two coats but I think I would probably have preferred a third coat. Just like the last one it is going to dry with some texture so you want some top coat but removal will again be easy. So there are two coats of How Noble. Up next we have In a Flurry, and this one is a clear base with holographic micro flakes. This is a, a type of polish that I just use in absolutely every manicure if I could. Um, very versatile. I'm going to shade two coats of it on its own, and then I'm going to layer one coat of this over Crushing It, the Green Magnetic, because I tend to do these kind of polishes over magnetics anyway. This is going to dry smooth and glossy and removal will be easy. So there are one and two coats of In a Flurry. Mm -hmm. 
Next up we have Kringle All The Way, and this one is a clear base glitter with red, green, and silver holographic glitter. And these large circle glitters are so indie of KB Shimmer, and I love them. They, If you want the large, large ones, you might have to go in and kind of place them where you want them or fish for them. Definitely spread them around like this. Um, but they're so worth it. They're so fun. They look like little ornaments, and this is such a Christmassy polish. I am layering this one over Berry and Bright, and I do think there was a better alternative to that. Um, it just didn't pop the way I really wanted it to. It was still very beautiful, but I did lose the red just a little bit. Again, some manipulation. You'll want top coat and removal. It does require scrubbing. Up next, we have Perfectly Seasoned, and this one is a, like, burnt copper color and then it is a linear holographic this is nicely opaque here on this first coat i wouldn't call it a one coater i don't think i would wear this one at just one coat but it is very opaque and if you're in a rush it definitely does the job but i did do two coats you'll want some top coat to help that holographic stand out to its fullest potential and it will dry more holographic than when it's wet removal will also be easy and nothing dries textured Up next we have Present Tense, and this one is a kind of pinky purple shimmery polish. It's like more of a pinky purple base, and then it's got a brighter purple shimmer. Um, it definitely reminds me of like gumdrops and the Nutcracker for whatever reason, but I think the formula on this is good. It is a little bit on the thicker side, but it's not difficult to work with. I got full coverage in two coats. If you're super picky, you might want to go in for three because I could see a couple of uneven spots. This one does dry dull, so if you don't love that, you'll want top coat and removal is easy. Up next we have Skating By, and this one is an icy blue polish, and then it does have a shifty aurora shimmer and holographic flakes. This is stunning, and it can take you all throughout winter. It is so beautiful, so wintry, so Christmassy. Absolutely gorgeous. I got full coverage in two coats. You will want some top coat to finish this one off just for longevity purposes and to bring your manicure, f manicure full circle removals easy. And lastly for today we have What's Going On and this one is a black jelly base with a rainbow of reflective glitter. Now reflective glitter is not my favoriteest element that you can put into a nail polish, but I've never personally seen somebody put all of them in there and it's kind of fun. I was happy in two coats. I could definitely see wanting a third coat, but personally putting three coats of reflective glitter on for me, myself, and I is just never going to happen. This is going to dry extra textured, almost sandy, and removal will be extremely difficult. And here's a quick look at the full collection. I never really know what to say in this portion of the video. Um, I enjoy a lot of these. Some of them I might not get as much use out of, um, but the Crellies are great. The Magnetic's great. The toppers are awesome. The Holographic is awesome. I really enjoy the flakes. I mean, I there's an element in each of them that I really, really enjoy. Collectively, I think it looks nice and cohesive. It doesn't scream holiday at me, um, but I think that's okay. I feel like a lot of brands are kind of trying to scream the holiday that they're wanting to represent and I think this is very subtly the holiday that they're wanting to represent so I am very happy with the polishes in general. I wanted to do this a little bit differently because I feel like I have the same things to say over and over again about uh, specifically their sugar scrubs um, and instead of just kind of repeating myself and talking through it I wanted to take my time and actually tell you about them. So the first sugar scrub is very sweet and this is such a pretty like pink and like yellowy almost kind of color combination. I am an aesthetic girly so if I see this sitting on the counter as opposed to this regardless of scent I am going to go for the pink one um, but this scent is so it's super sweet and it is very strong. This is something that my daughter would be really into so when she takes a shower in my bathroom she really likes she really likes to use my sugar scrubs. And I do think that this is one that she's gonna really enjoy. Now, Katie Shimmer sugar scrubs in just the grand scheme of things, I love them. I use them all of the time. They're super hydrating. They're nice and exfoliating. I think they are a wonderful, wonderful product. I officially have hundreds of them um, and I 
I'm not upset about it at all. I can also say with out a shadow of a doubt that all of the scents that she comes out with um, are very distinctly unique from each other. So I do really appreciate that I haven't gotten a repeat scent yet or anything that even smells like it could be the same smell with like a hint of something different. They are very unique. So I do really enjoy this one, but again, it is very strong. So if you're sensitive to smells, they might not be for you, um, but this is very, very sweet. And then the other uh, sugar script that they're offering in this release is peppermint cocoa. Um, and it's this very beautiful minty green color, totally festive, totally like Christmassy. I am just personally not a fan of artificial chocolate smells. I think this smells good. It does absolutely lean more on the minty side of things. Um, but it wouldn't be my go-to as far as scents go. Again, this is very heavily scented, so if you are sensitive to smells, it might not be for you. It does smell good, but it is very heavily scented. In general, I can't recommend these enough. I do love their sugar scrubs for the 856th time out of my mouth. They are very quality product and very affordable, and you get a huge amount for how much you pay. And then moving on to the cuticle oils. These, I am such a stickler for cuticle oils because I like certain things at certain times. So like at night after my shower when I put on cuticle oil, I like it to be like a slow absorbing. Um, that way it can, I feel, do more. It probably doesn't, but it feels like it does more. It hydrates for longer. Um, and then, you know, when I'm swatching, I like a fast absorbing cuticle oil. So really, truly, and honestly, throughout the day, I don't have... I have preferences throughout the day, but I love cuticle oils in general for different things. These ones specifically do absorb very, very quickly, which I obviously appreciate. Um, and the first one is in the scent Tide Me Over. This is a very clean, soft, laundry-ish smell to me, um, but it is a more subtle scent where the sugar scrubs are very heavily scented. The cuticle oils aren't, so I appreciate that for what it is as well. And then... The other scent is Deep Cashmere. And I would say this is more of a earthy, kind of more masculine scent, which I love. Both of these scents are excellent, big fans, but again, it's not a super, um, super loud, prominent scent. So if you are sensitive to smells, these are actually very good and not strongly scented. Okay guys, that is it. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of these polishes, the sugar scrubs, the cuticle oils. Let me know what your favorite was from this release and let me know what you plan on picking up. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you'd like to see more from me and I will talk to you again next time.